Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you on a Wednesday, right? I think it's Wednesday, man. Yes, it is Wednesday. First day of school. Kids going back to school today. Crazy. Okay, this is just a quick summary report for the day. Nothing major, nothing really earth shattering. I'm um, just going to quickly go over it. Basically, we had this morning, we had our initial trade, our first trade. We hit our profit target and then our uh, we did hit 50 ticks in profit, which means our uh, stop loss was moved to break even. And then we did hit our stop loss on that. And that ended up actually being the right play for that move. So capture that. And then the next one, we hit our initial profit target and then we got stopped out on our runner. And then the last trade of the day uh, just got stopped out. So three trades um, overall, just, I mean, not a whole lot to see, but again, like the more and more that I'm, I'm testing this strategy, um, the more I'm realizing how difficult it is for me anyway, for a, to have like that kind of mechanical entry and yeah, I'm not sure. This is something I'm kind of testing. I'm not sure having these kind of mechanical entries is... I'm not sure that is for me. Um, I've always been more of a discretionary trader. And I'm just... Yeah, I, I mean, I, en I enjoy testing this and just kind of seeing what I think and kind of what it's like. Uh, but for example, like taking this trade right here, I really did not... You know, it, it hit my signal and, you know, it was an entry according to the rules. It was an entry for me for a short. I was not a fan of it, but I took the trade anyway, uh, just because I'm following the rules. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's something I guess just that's on my mind is right now. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to test this strategy. I do still feel like my like trading my support and resistance zones like is there i feel like there's definitely opportunity there for trading my support and resistance but it also requires somewhat of a discretionary entries and trading off of it with kind of that discretion and so yeah i don't know i don't know uh I'm not, I guess, yeah, I'm at kind of at a tipping point where I'm like, I'm not sure doing this kind of mechanical entries. Like, it has pros and cons. Like, the pros to it is you really have a more set where mentally you just enter based off of the rules. And you don't really put a lot of thought into it. And you just enter where discretionary it's more, you know, reading the price action and getting a feel for the market a little bit. And, you know, entering or not entering based off of what you're seeing, uh, which can also be a pros and cons to it. And I think it comes down to, you know, some people, you know, the mechanical entries, that's their thing. And that's what make, you know, that's something that works for them. Other people, I mean, I know a lot of people have discretionary entries and uh, obviously are successful with it. So I think either way, either one can work. I have to figure out what makes most sense to me. I've always been more of a discretionary trader and I wanted to try the mechanical entries a little bit more. Um, not saying I'm giving up on it, but I'm definitely noticing some things where it's like really difficult for me to kind of just keep following and not being looking at some of the outside parameters and the price action I'm seeing where I'm like, oh, I don't like this entry, but I still take it and then I get stopped out. So it's a little bit frustrating but again we're just trying to follow the rules collect the data for now um the other thing is um yeah just trading i guess yeah not trading my funded accounts um and i definitely needed a mental break from trading funded accounts i'm starting to get an itch to trade the funded accounts again obviously we've got we've got work to do on that i still you know, as you know, if not familiar trading evaluation accounts, I've been 
able to be consistent with that. And I've just not been able to transition into, you know, from my evals to my funded accounts. I just have not been able to transition and it's frustrating. It does get very frustrating at times, but Definitely needed a mental break from that and just kind of reset my mind in a sense. And yeah, I'm kind of chomping at the bit to trade the funded accounts again. We'll see. Um, for now, we're going to stay the course, keep trading this. And then, uh, but I don't know what we'll do next week. We're just going to have to, I guess, wait and see. But it's just part of my trading journey, I guess. I guess we'll just continue down the road and obviously. With this strategy, there's definitely, I mean, if we just look at the results, obviously the data isn't really that, we don't have a lot of data. And with back testing it, I mean, it also didn't, like, my back testing on this wasn't where I was, like, extremely profitable. Um, it didn't, it basically had some potential, I would say, um, but... It was kind of the results that I'm seeing now, to be honest. It's kind of similar. Um, obviously, we have a very small sample size. And uh, I think it's just, for me, it's difficult to have something mechanical where everything it is just, you, you don't pay attention to the price action, how the market is behaving. It's That is difficult. That is difficult for me. But anyway... That's it for today. Uh, we'll just can we're gonna continue trading this the way we have it, and we'll reassess at the end of the week. And there's a chance that starting next week we go back to trading our funded accounts. There's also a chance that we just take this strategy, we move it to ES. Now, I see the same kind of issues coming up on ES that I see here, where it's not really about the the market I'm trading, it's more about what is a fit for me. So anyway, the, I guess rambling, the ramble of the day, that's kind of where my thoughts are right now. But anyway, thanks everyone. Actually, we, 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 did we show, I think we showed trades LA. Yes, we did. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everyone. Take care. Have a great rest of your night and God bless.